All right, if you're using Google Sheets, you may want to find the day of the week as a number. So we're going to talk about how to do that right now. And we're going to start off with the today function. So that's just a way to return today's date. And let's say I want to find what day of the week today is. So I know today is Wednesday, but if I want to find out the actual number, there's something called the weekday function. And for that function, you can do the input one of three different ways. The first way, which I'll show you right now, is just to point it to a cell that has a valid date in it. So this would be A1. I'm going to click on A1 with my mouse. I can close this function off. And there it is. It returns a four. So the basic use of it is very easy, very straightforward. First, we'll go over some options and then different ways to input the date. So we'll double click back in the cell where the weekday function is. And if we want to see the help, you just need to move the cursor inside the parentheses. The help pops up. And what we want to talk about is the type. So I'll go to sheetshelp.com here and just show what I'm talking about, the type. It defaults to one, so you don't need anything. And what one does is it makes Sunday one and it goes all the way through Saturday, which is seven. If you use a two, it just makes the first day of the week Monday. But then for some reason, you may want to make Monday zero. I don't know why you would use the option three there. So let's go back. Let's um, just use this as a two. It's going to change from a four to a three. All right, so those are the different ways to use the weekday function. But the other thing that you have to be careful about, which may have brought you to this video because you were having an error, is that it's hard to get the date in here right. So the first way, which we just talked about, is to have it in another cell and make sure it's valid. Second way would be to run the weekday function again. And you need to put the date in quotes. So let's say today is 12 29 2021. I'm in the U.S., so they go in month, day, year, order. But the quotes is what you may be forgetting. We just close that off. We'll get a four again. Then the third way to use the function would be to wrap the date function inside. So the date function takes the year, then it takes the month, then it takes the day. You don't need quotes if you're doing it that way. Now, typically, it's a little bit more clunky to write it out this way. But if maybe the month is in another column and the year and a third column, you can use this and these can be cell references too. All right, so those are the three different ways to enter the date. And then if you want more than the week number, if you actually want to return the name of the day of the week, so let's say Sunday, Saturday, Wednesday, etc., there are several different ways to do that. I'll link to another video that shows you other options, but what you can do is wrap this in the choose function. So inside the choose function, what it wants is an index. We're going to list out a series of choices and then the index is going to tell us which one. So the index will actually be the weekday function and we're going to point it at A1. And what we're going to do with that index number is we're going to use it to choose between these options. We did not specify a one, two, or three as a type with the weekday function. The one will be a Sunday. So the first choice we're going to say is Sunday. Second is going to be Monday. Saturday. And we'll use the parentheses to close that off and hit enter. And there you go. So you've used the weekday function, but then you're returning text with it. So we'll test this with a few other days. We'll take the today function and we'll add one to it. And then we'll take the today function and we'll add two to it to move into the future. And we'll take the formula in B1, drag it down to B2 and B3 and let go of the mouse. There you go. So if you like that video, the Sheets Help YouTube channel is going to have a lot of other videos just like this one. So if you subscribe, you'll see them as they come out. And thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.